So first off for the agenda, uh, we've noticed a lot of players still don't know how to fit DPE into their decks because of the ban about a month or so ago, or about two months ago, whatever. Um, and we have found ways to for you to utilize your DPE. Obviously with Fusion Destiny being at one, it, using your DPE is very critical. And these are some of the ways that we have found out. So now starting off, the very first way is the way that we have shown you guys in some of our videos. Running the Disc Commander, which allows you to special summon this, uh, when this card special summon from the graveyard, you get to draw two cards. But you can only use his effect once per duel. So it's a big, it's a big risk, you'll have to use the DPE resummon on him instead of uh, DPE itself. Uh, along with Dasher, but it's it, it works, but it's probably one of the the lesser ways I'd say. It, it's just there if you still want to have your quote unquote pot of greed play. Now the second way that we have found out for DPE um, is probably one of the methods that both me and Jack use, um, and that's probably the double malicious and Dasher play. With uh, Destiny Hero Malicious, you get to banish this card from the graveyard and you get to special summon uh, a Malicious from your deck. So obviously you get your DP you still get your DPE, plus you get a, new a free level 6 monster, which can set up for certain plays depending on what you're running. Another, another good way that uh, I've uh, seen people do, which, I'm, I, which I think is probably one of the, the best ways to probably do it now, is so we run double Malicious with a Denier. A denier allows us to, uh, when it's normal or special summon, you can take one of your Destiny Heroes monsters from your deck, graveyard, or in the banish, and place it on top of your deck. This will also allow you that if you have a Destiny Hero on the field or in the graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard once per duel. So this gives you a extender play, but it also on top of the fact that if you activate your malicious by trying to get another malicious onto the field one of your malicious is going to get banished you can special summon this card uh denier take the banish card of your malicious put it on the top of your deck then use either this card and malicious or malicious and something else so yeah so those are those are the three ways that we have found out for you everybody to still run the dpe in their decks um personally i would probably go with either the malicious dasher or the denier malicious uh those two ways are probably your best probably going to be your best extender plays now moving on to our next point of uh discussion here are some of the structure decks up first um both me and jack are probably unanimously agreed on this is probably the burning spirits structure deck the Salomon Great Structure Deck. Um, honestly, you get a lot of... You you get the deck. Like, you can buy three of these and you could basically build the deck that we released when the, the game first came out. Like, it, it works. <laughs> and you get... Like, when we got this, it, we saved so much. Or we... I'm sorry, not saved, but we got so much materials back. Buying three of these almost really guarantees you from just making the whole deck right away it's a really good like it's a really good starting for comp so for if you don't know really what deck to build for 1500 gems you're instantly have a competitive deck yes and the thing is the reason why i really like this structure deck is because honestly you really don't have to do anything to it like you can run it as it is and you can still win games like if you just if you buy one and you want to take it straight in the ladder go for it um it will work. It won't work as well as having the full variety, but it'll still work. And then I'm pretty sure we're also in agreement to this. The second best structure deck to get is the Dragon Made to Order structure deck. Uh, 100%. Now, again, uh, just like with Solomon Greats, you could take the deck as is and run one copy of it. And like uh, take, I'm sorry, just take the structure deck and run it straight into the ladder and you'll probably be fine. It's this one though is a little bit more tricky. Um, this one you'll probably need to take at least two to really have a good chance. Unlike the Solomon Greats where you just need the one. But run, getting all three of this, uh, th all three of these structure decks, I would highly recommend. Yeah. So the fact of this, uh, the the Dragon Maid, buying all three of them, 
gives you a very strong deck to turn into actually pure dragon maidens more than just kind of like few random cards that they always throw in here so like you can literally buying three of them allows you to remove all the extra baggage that you don't need so which is super good for this being like probably the most second competitive deck that they have for structure decks yes and the other good thing about this is if you want to run the dragon maid version of dragon links this is also a good way to get into that because you save a lot of resources on getting these Dragon Maid cards for a mere 1,500 gems. You save a lot. Yes. Now, the other structure decks, like the Cybernetic Successor, the Rage of Cypher, um, Recontact, Magician of Pendulum, and Spellbook of Prophecy, those ones, um, I think, were good for getting certain cards. Now, if you want to run uh, the... the Cyber, uh, cyber Dark Dragons and run all that stuff, then by all means get the Cyber Next Successor, it'll jumpstart you. Same way with Rage of Cypher, same way with Magician of Pendulum, and same way with Re uh, Contact Universe. Like, they are really good ways to save resources on cards. You, in in our honest opinion, we, we told you the ones that you should go after, like the ones that we think are the best ones, but we honestly think you should have been by all. Yes. Like, with, with, with like, Hard cap, buy all of them. There are so many individual staple cards in each one that make it that makes individually them good. Yes. Like we agreed that the cyber dark one, the cyber uh, kinetic one, this would have been a super great structure deck if they would have brought this out the same time. Dry Trons was super big, and that's because of cyber emergency. That would have saved people on Dry Trons trying to get this card. So, like, th like this would have been a super. This, this would have been like a really big pickup during that time that you also need in Dragon Links as well. It allows you to get three Star Lead, which is big. Um, the card has uh, like there's Honest in here. There's there's a lot of individual staple cards. Like it gives you like the Galaxy Eyes card. The uh, Utopia one gives you Utopia out of you know being a. A generic level 4 XCs monster that's actually decent. But I think another big thing is like in the Pendulum one, this gives you like 80, I want to say like 80, I would say like maybe like 40% of all the Pendulum cards you're probably going to need eventually in a Pendulum deck. Yeah. Whether it being Pendulum Call, rather being the Pendulum Sorcerer, Soul uh, Pendulum. Soul Pen or, yeah, it's like a Probat Joker, Iris, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the Field Iris. Spell, the Iris. You get Odd Eyes in here. Each individual pack is amazing. Yes. I uh, say, like like we said, get all of them. It's so easy to actually get gems in this game, it's not even funny. But, of course, if you don't want to buy all of them or you don't think they're that good, we did point out the ones that we think are probably the best ones to get if you were thinking about, eh, I'll just grab a few, which is definitely the Solomon Graves and the Dragon Bates. Yes. 100% are probably the best ones in as a whole like to make a, a fast deck really fast thank you guys so much for tuning into this video if you haven't yet make sure you like the video comment down below and hey subscribe it's free helps us out you guys get notified when we upload all of the juiciest content to the youtube and uh that's it for now we'll see you next week peace Yo!